So I'm going to be speaking about open source intelligence or OSINT and how it has reached adulthood in the sense that it has matured and established itself as a respected and credible source amongst the other intelligence gathering disciplines. I'll explore how it has transitioned from being considered unreliable and just too vast to draw value from to a highly sophisticated discipline upon which many investigators now depend, not least to tackle misinformation and disinformation. I would like those attending to come away appreciating that OSINT is a vital component within the investigator's toolkit. And that even though in principle, most people could conduct open source research if they knew how or how to had access to the right tools, it still takes highly specialist knowledge and skills to conduct it effectively and safely. So I think the development of tools and technologies which enable analysts to find, filter and collect relevant information more, more efficiently is clearly a game changer in the OSINT world. But also I think the way in which the OSINT community, including journalists, have responded to key events, including the Trump campaign, the capital riots, and more recently the invasion of Ukraine, have all demonstrated the value of OSINT in uncovering the truth. And as analysts, I think we've also got better at exploiting open sources and demonstrating its value. So I think all of these elements have come together to influence the culture and reputation surrounding OSINT. So OSINT combats misinformation because it creates a wonderful investigative opportunity for analysts to apply their critical thinking skills and specialist tradecraft to safely trace the content back to its original source and validate, or otherwise, the information published. Now, what OSINT does is it enables us to seek out corroborating or contradicting information from trusted sources. 